L. How a woman barber. How easy is business for a woman barber? Um, you know, Lagos, of course, I want to uh, hear your thoughts on this show. I want you to um, join us, have conversations with us. Uh, because when you think about a barber, the image that pops in your head is probably a man. Because um, the overwhelming majority of barbers in Nigeria are men. In fact, it's very rare to find a woman barber here in Nigeria. But they exist. And I have one in the studio with me right now. And you can watch us live on Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. YouTube is Nigeria Info FM. Uh, and Lagos, if you have questions for her, if you want to talk to her about this barbing profession, go ahead and tell me about it. But uh, precious Joseph... Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Uh, you can use the mic here. Yeah. Go ahead. This mic in front of you, that's the one you're going to speak into. Yes. Hi, hi, Precious. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, thanks for joining us. Good evening to you. Good evening. Say hello to Lagos. Hello, Nigeria. Hello, Lagos. <laughs> She's a bit excited. Ah, yes, kind of. <laughs> okay. So could you adjust the mic a bit? It's very bendy. So adjust it so that Lagos can, right. can really, really hear you. And then move closer. And you can wear the, the headphones so that you can... Um, hear the calls when they start coming in now like i said there are not a lot of um, women barbers so what made you decide to become one <laughs> okay um it started like a joke not really a joke but it's more of people telling me that uh, you can't do this and you know very well within yourself that you can actually do it and you can deliver so well mm -hmm. so my friends were they like you know making fun of me and all that like i told them uh, before i started barbing i've already fallen in love with with barbing yes okay because i used to help my brother my elder brother to cut he's a uh, he used to uh, skin cut okay at home so i used to and i did i used to do this very well and um so one time we, me and my friends, we are kind of young and we went for uh, at um, a barber shop and they're like, okay, I was like, um, I can actually do this. This guy is doing and I can do it very well. Like it's not that they were like, ah, can you hold a clipper? Do you know how it is to hold a clipper? Do you even know what it is to? I'm <laughs> like, it's not that hard. <laughs> like I can actually do it. They're like, it's a lie. You can't, you can't do it. It's a lie. So. <laughs> I was like, fine. Okay. I would do it. Okay. <laughs> and I started and I did it. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> Funny story. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, during COVID, I started cutting my husband's hair. But before he let me do it, it was a struggle. You know, like I had to say, don't worry, I can do it. I've been watching. Yeah. Now, the first one I did was terrible. It was really bad. <laughs> it was really, really bad. We had to wait for the hair to grow back. Um, but he let me cut it again. And, you know, since then, I'm the only one that cuts his hair now. He doesn't go back to like barbing salons to do it. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask you, did you meet any resistance when you wanted to start your apprenticeship? I did. Okay. Uh, my families were against it. They, 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 they thought I was joking. Okay. You know, among all the skills that a woman have to learn, mm -hmm. why must it be barbing mm -hmm. and all that? Mm -hmm. They're like, they actually took me serious. Not all of them. The one I'm staying with, that mm -hmm. is more like a guardian to me. Okay. Like a father to me. Okay. So he's the one, the day he took me serious, like, oh, so this, my sister is serious about this barbing stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the day that I actually paid the apprenticeship okay. i'm not that paid for it like <laughs> okay okay I how much did you pay how much was it as of then i think uh, uh for 12 months i paid 55 okay no 65 65 000 for 12 yeah. months to learn how to cut hair yes okay. uh, minus the things that you, need, you have to buy you know they have to write lists for you okay tell me about <laughs> that i don't know how it works yeah okay i think, I think total of the things that i bought mm -hmm. is like twenty thousand or something what did you have to buy tell me uh i bought um biscuits mm -hmm. minera i got like three cartons of minera okay uh, malt, two, okay. two cartons of malt. okay i got gin okay Wine. Gin? What has gin got to do with cutting hair? Ah, I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> you just have to buy them. Okay. You know, it's more like a culture. You have to do your, your, your seniors did it. You uh -huh. have to do so it. So you have it's, to do it. It's okay. the culture. And okay. All that. okay. So I just have to. I think it's close to 20,000. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the, okay. the fee was uh, 65. Okay. Yeah. All right. How did you raise the money to pay I for was, it? I was working. Okay. Was what, working. what were you doing? Uh, I walked too. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? I, I did um, because um, I'm not uh, well privileged to further my education. So okay. I stopped at SSE. And, um, okay. So with the, the one I have, which I'm 
kind of smart. Uh, it's not like I'm bragging, or, you know. I, Girl, it, brag, I, I, please. I, I, it's, it's easy for me to adopt to anything I want to do. So okay. it's always as far as there is somebody to teach me, mm-hmm. it's easy for me to to learn. Yeah, understand. Okay. So okay. I work as a front desk okay. supervisor. Okay. Um, uh, assistant office assistant okay different kind so you of did, so you did multiple jobs yes and from those multiple jobs yeah. you now saved small 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 to, and paid for the apprenticeship yes. I, actually the, the apprenticeship wasn't the first business i went into before, okay. I, before i started but i think that is when i was like i must deliver <laughs> like <laughs> i have to be here yeah, i know that so okay so tell me what's involved in the apprenticeship in the league, I decided to buy shop learning. It wasn't easy. Tell me about <laughs> that. <laughs> we were like, uh, I think, three apprentices uh, apprentice at all, as of that time. Okay. And me being the only girl, they'll be like, ah, now you be the girl now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be the one to sweep, be the one to fetch all the water, oh, wash no. all the cover clothes, apron. Mm-hmm. Ah, everything. Oh. <laughs> Just because I'm the girl. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, why would a girl sit down and a guy is sweeping? Like, mm-hmm. but all of us, we paid and all of us are here to learn. Why yeah. must I be the one to, you know, do take, all the manual yeah, labor? Mm-hmm. Take the whole responsibility of doing those small, small works mm-hmm. and they're like, okay. So I got happier when a junior, because as of that, I was the junior one. Mm-hmm. So I got happier when uh, someone came so again to join came. us. I was <laughs> like, okay, fine. <laughs> this is my turn. <laughs> I'm not doing anything again. <laughs> it's your turn to continue where I stop after all the call show and all that. But it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> during the apprenticeship, um, are you being paid? Uh, you know, so you, you're not paid? You, you earn nothing. Mm. <laughs> You're just there to learn. Okay. During those 12 months, mm-hmm. the only way I survive is um, the, the my people, my friends that allow me to cut their hair and they give me like 500. Mm. Some, some ah, 1,000 to encourage you. Why? Some, mm-hmm. some customers that, that come to, you know, bab their hair, after cutting their hair, like, ah, take this one, you know. Mm. Those those tips are the oh. <laughs> the things I'm living off for like there is no income oh. and other outside. <laughs> so that is how it is. Um can you tell me, you know, what um your favorite memory from being an apprentice is? <coughs> it's also <laughs> is is really hilarious. Okay. It's very, very funny. Okay. I got to you know, there is this uh <laughs> It's more of a mistake, but each time I remember it, I'm like, geez, (laughs) this precious, I should do this. (laughs) So this soldier guy came into our barber shop. Okay. And he used to bab skin, and I'm already good at it. Babbing skin, right. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, come on, cut my hair. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. As Mm -hmm. long as later you can do it very well. I said, I will. Mm -hmm. So after cutting his hair, so there is this one beard <laughs> on his uh, uh, jaw or something. Okay. So I didn't know that he's keeping it. <laughs> so I went and Oh, no. It. Oh, no. Just one. Oh, no. Just one straight, straight one hair. One string of hair. <laughs> yeah. And he was saving it. Yeah. And so he went and cut it off. He was like, what? <laughs> follow me to the barrack. Like, oh, I have to follow no. this man to the barrack. Oh, I went, no. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, no. When I got there, I went to scrub the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> as a punishment. Oh, no. <laughs> That's actually terrible. <laughs> because he said he can't beat a woman. Okay. So the only way to give it. Because he, have, he said he had been saving it for 10 years. Oh, no. So it's really painful. I don't oh. know. I don't know where his strength is or why he's so special to him. For also. him. Yeah. From oh, my. That and you a, scrub the toilet? Like five minutes, yeah. The the, the wife was because he, t- he took me to his house. <laughs> the, wife, the wife was like, ah ah, baba, yeah, it's okay now. It's a mistake. Look, the woman was not begging. Was like, it's because of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> like it's because of my wife. <laughs> Don't think that I'm wicked though. What you did is actually like you're supposed to ask me, mm-hmm. which is true. Yeah. No, even if there is nothing there, if, if, for the fact that you want to touch, they have to can I? Mm-hmm. So I learned something from that, from that particular experience. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't funny. In so the moment, was I, it funny? I mean, I mean you can like, laugh now, I, but yeah, then thinking of it, but then I was shedding tears, like I'm begging ah. and crying. Oh my. oh my god. I'm really sorry. Lego. 
like all of you just tuning in. Hello to you. I have in the studio with me uh, a, a woman who cuts hair for a living. Um, she's told us um, why she decided to um, start cutting hair professionally. Um, she's told us the kind of resistance that she met uh, when she wanted to start her apprenticeship. Her family members didn't think that she was serious and then they saw that she was serious and then they let her do it. Um, you know, what are some of the things that they were telling you, your family members, when you uh, when they were telling you, no, this is not something that you should do because you're a woman? What were some of the things, what were some of the reasons why they didn't think you should do it? Because they feel that uh, barbers don't make much. Okay. And um, it's not something that I can, you know, do for a long time. Okay. It's not something I can do for a long time because mm -hmm. I'm a lady. They feel that one day I'm going to get married, mm. probably have a child mm -hmm. and all that. So it's not uh, a woman's word mm -hmm. kind of work. Mm -hmm. and But to me, it's not. Because my mentor, the person that I actually take more interest, I used to watch, I followed her on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. She's a married lady, mm -hmm. a white woman, and she has like three kids. No. And she's, she's still cutting it now. So why must my be a, a different... Uh, you know, issue. Why can't I be married and be, you know, be, be a cutting baba? hair? Yeah, and all that. So I didn't take them serious. The way they did not take, take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're done with your apprenticeship, does your ogre settle you? Uh, after the apprenticeship, uh, they still write another list for you. Oh, okay. For, for, for graduation. Free, yeah, freedom. We call it freedom. Okay. <laughs> 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 for freedom. And uh, as of that time, because I'm not working. Okay. Where, 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 where am I going to get the money? For and, freedom, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I waited mm -hmm. and I started doing yeah, internship with him. Okay. Yeah, I did like six months mm -hmm. with him and all that. Before mm -hmm. I was able, during that time, mm -hmm. that's when I... Um, I managed to save a little mm -hmm. and decided to, you know, bring everything that is on the list <laughs> for, my, for my graduation. What and what were on the list? The same kind of things that they wrote when I want, wanted to start. Come, okay, yeah. okay. Um, okay, so um, uh, do you have your own practice now? Is it called a practice? Do you have your own, well, it's not law, so it's not practice. <laughs> do you have your own shop now where you're cutting hair? Yeah, I do. You own your own shop now. Yes, yes. Oh, impressive. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where is your shop? Where, where is it located? Uh, okay, um, uh, for those that want to come my page, please do. <laughs> my shop is at uh, opposite Temple, Temple Heath Supermarket. Okay. At Safeway Hospital Bus Stop, Shangote Do, Aja, Lagos. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what's, what's, y what's your business called? What's the name of your business? PJ Baba Shop. PJ Baba Shop. Yeah. Do you have people that are, you know, cutting hair yes, with I you? Yes, I have. You have staff? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How many staff do you have? I, I have one. Okay. And I have one apprentice too. Okay. Is your staff a boy or a, a man or a woman? A boy. Okay. So if a woman came to you now and said, Precious, I want to cut hair, would you say, okay, yeah, sure. Come on, you know, come and learn how to cut hair. At my my place. apprentice is a, is a lady. Is your a apprentice is a girl. Look yeah. at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you had your own business now? Oh, uh, yeah, she's in one year. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's last year, last year, November. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 2021 November. 2021 November. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, what I want to ask is, so it's, it's been almost a year you've been doing this. Mm, yes. Um, let's talk about the economics of it. Let's talk about the money part. Um, you, um, how much do you make in a month? How much did it cost you to start? So how much is a clipper? How much is the, the shop that you're paying rent for? Um, how much are you spending on fuel? Or is it diesel? You know, tell us about that. If, if I wanted to start my own barbing salon now, what would it cost me to start? Okay, I think um, starting a barber shop is based on how financially stable you are. Okay. Um, anybody can start barber shop, okay. but based how do you want it to look? Okay. How convenient do you want it to be? Mm. How exclusive do you want it to look? Okay. That is what matters. That's what consumes money. Okay. A man can start a barber shop with fifty thousand. Oh really? Same way someone can start it with fifty million. Oh, nope. fair. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just about the standard and okay. the location. Okay. So the place. Uh, I am right now mm -hmm. because I'm not you know, financially buoyant or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So I have to go down a bit to okay. Shango to do. Okay. So shops that place, total package should be like 600. Oh, that's a lot of money. The place that I am. Okay. So yearly is like uh, 500. Okay. I pay 500 yearly. Yearly, okay. And the things that I bought is close to two. 
close million. to two, two million naira. Yeah. My God. I have three share, three okay. baba share. Okay. Not just the like, regular one. Okay. You know, the exclusive one. Okay. And well, um, sorry, I don't know. I, sorry, you are talking. I'm a oh, journalist. okay. <laughs> I'm a journalist. Right. I cut so only uh, my husband's <laughs> hair. That's the only hair I know how to cut. So there is there is um uh a classic uh baba share. Okay. Yeah. There is VIP. The ones that. Even if you want person to lie mm. and you'll be caught in the air, yeah, yeah. that one you can get it for like 500,000 per one. Okay. So it's by, you know, the different length. grades. Yeah, okay. So that is how it is. Okay. So you, you buy your share, buy mm. your Miro, mm -hmm. the Jayco, mm -hmm. um, the little things mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. Well, all of it costs you about 2 million naira. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, but uh, that's also because you wanted a particular standard for your yeah, shop. Exactly. Now let's talk about how much it costs to maintain the place. You know, how much, um, how much, uh, yes, all of that. How so much for fuel? How much are you making? Per, is it per day? Is it per week? Is it per it's month? Per how does it work? Okay, so as it, as it is now, mm -hmm. I'm not making much, okay. you know, compared to what I've spent. Okay. But, you know, it's a new business. Right. It's a new business. It takes time, especially if I shop in a new site. Right. You know, I, the place I was working before is Lakey. Okay. So most of my customers are at Lakey, VI, you know. Mm. So them it's difficult to come to Shango today. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm trying to build a customer base around that area and it to take me some time. So it's right. not like it's not working, but right. not as everybody will presume or something. So okay. for me to make my profit, if I'm focusing more of the making the profit immediately, no, no, no. You no, know, it's going to crash. Yeah. So you have to have patience mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. So as as it is now, I, I used to consume at least ten thousand naira for per week. Per week. Per week. Okay. Because, yeah. Per so week. Is, so you have at a small gen or a big one? Big small. Okay. Okay. So if I'm not using much things, mm. I put on the small. Okay. If I'm only main like AC or something, I put on the, the big one. The big one. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I minimum. And if there is no customer, I turn off my gen. Okay. So that's how it is. What's the light situation like in Shanghai? Oh, <laughs> It's nothing, it's nothing to talk about. <laughs> See, what we do there, we buy for it to make money. Mm -hmm. They use the money to pay for Nepal Bay. Oh, my goodness. Because Nepal don't appreciate us, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we are just paying there for free. <laughs> As it is, it's terrible. But um, so on a good day, let's say, you know, on a day that market is good or that, you know, I don't know. Is it market is good? Mm -hmm. is, is that business, is, business good. is good? Mm. Okay. Uh huh. On a day that business is good, yeah. how much do you make? Uh, like say at least mm. ten thousand. At least ten thousand on a yes. day that. Uh, how much does a, a haircut cost? My is one one thousand. One thousand. So yes. you you cut ten people's hair a day. that at a least. day. That's yeah. a really good day. Yes. On a really bad day. To go down to five, five thousand. Mm. Okay, uh, per day. Mm, That's yeah. not bad. But the bad, bad, mm. very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it can be, it can be one, mm. two, or three. Okay. Now, how often do you have the really bad days, and how often do you have the really good Rainy days? Rainy season is actually giving me very bad day Aww. because many people, you know, because it's raining. Ah, let me do it tomorrow. Ah, let me do it next tomorrow. Oh yeah. And before you know, they will visit someone in so so place, and there is one that you can just step out and. You know, and do it, yeah. They'll just do it there. So but I hear that people also don't like to cheat on their barbers. Most, uh, but it's rare to get a lawyer customer. Oh, really? Even though there is, I have many lawyer customer. Mm. Like I'm proud of them. <laughs> <laughs> they are the reason why I'm like, yes, I'm doing the right thing okay. because they keep referring me to people and all Aww. that. And it's really nice. It's encouraging. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I have to ask, um, and, and lots of people are asking me questions on WhatsApp, so I'm um, probably going to get a lot of questions. Ah. Um, uh, a lot of people look at cutting hair and they think it's easy. Me, personally, I thought it was easy because, you know, I watch like hair cutting videos on, on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, okay. You know, unfortunately, the hair cutting videos I often watch are white people's hair. So when I wanted to cut my husband's hair, I sprayed water in his face for <laughs> <laughs> it was a disaster the and first you're not time. supposed to spray water you know it was a disaster but i got better at it you know and and now it looks great like i i'm the only one who cuts his hair now okay. so what are the things about the scale of cutting hair that a lot of people don't realize are difficult hmm. you know every baba of the, uh, has their own style mm -hmm. and process hmm. If the, the way I'll, cu I'll cut your hair, mm -hmm. it's not the same I'm going to cut someone else's hair. Okay. Mr. A and Mr. B, let me take it that way. Okay. If I'm going to cut Mr. A hair, mm -hmm. it's not the same I'm going to cut Mr. B hair. Because 
every individual has different hair texture. Oh, okay. And the hair shape is different too. Right. You know, there is some hair that when you want to brush, mm. you brush it backward. Okay. And when you want to brush some people, when you brush it front, so if you are bobbing this particular hair that you have to brush back mm. and you are bobbing it and you are brushing it front, mm. there is no how you are going to get a clean cut. Oh. So the way you brush or comb the hair, mm. especially if you are cutting a lady's hair, mm-hmm. you know most ladies, they, they comb their hair. Backwards. Exactly. Right. Imagine cutting that hair and you are combing it you know, forward. You are not going to get it right. Huh. So it's based on how the barber, bab, you know, the process, mm. it, it matters a lot. And... Um, the second thing is personal knowledge. Okay. It's not yet something that everybody has. You, you looking at the hair texture, looking at the hair shape, looking at um, the angle of the hair, mm-hmm. you already know how you're going to put your hand, mm-hmm. what step you're going to fix on your tapa, your blade, okay. your clipper. Mm-hmm. So all these things matter. It's not just you being a baba, you want to cut hair. Mm. If, you, if you have that kind of um, mindset, mm-hmm. you keep on messing people's hair. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Woo! I didn't realize that there was so much that went into it. Okay, I feel like I should go and do apprenticeship with I you. <laughs> How much do you charge for apprenticeship? Mm. <laughs> you, you don't want to say? You don't say? No? Okay. More, I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm more like any girl that is ready to learn mm-hmm. and you know you, you, you have made up your mind that you want to be a baby mm-hmm. and you want to learn. Mm-hmm. You're welcome to, you know, train in my place. Okay. I don't charge much. Okay. It's more free okay. for you to learn more. Okay. So that is it. For yeah. girls, but for boys, you pay money. Ah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope Chinoye mm-hmm. is listening. Chinoye is one of my regular listeners, okay. and she's told me that what she actually really wanted to do was learn how to cut hair, oh. but her family really resisted it, and so she had to go and learn how to plait hair mm. instead. But that what she really wanted to do with her life was cut hair. So I do hope she's listening because um, I think you would serve as such inspiration for her. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to take a break, but before we take that break, I have information to share with Lagos. Yes. Good evening, Lagos. This announcement is coming straight to you from Lucas Green. And I'm here to tell you that as a wife, you can touch up your husband's wardrobe. As a man out there, you can touch up your wardrobe this season because Lucas Green is offering a highly discounted wardrobe makeover for men. Now, with 100,000 naira only, you will get a whole 13 items, which includes a suit, three caftans, three tunics, two trousers, one shoe and one sandal. Okay. This package will get you covered for all your events all year long. And this is also a bespoke package as your measurements will be taken and you will have to choose your fabrics and designs yourself before production. Call or send a DM now to 070-3286-70011. As offer is highly limited and is exist from first past day date. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lagos, we have questions, I know. WhatsApp is flooding with questions. I already have uh, a colleague of mine requesting to have you on their show on Saturday. Um, But uh, we will take a break. (laughs) When (laughs) we come back from this break, we'll keep talking to Precious Joseph. Precious Joseph is, can I call you CEO? No, MD, owner, business owner, you know. And okay. <laughs> anyway, Sha, she owns a barbing salon in Shangotedo. It's called PJ Barbers. Yes, Where is it located in, in Shangotedo? Um, op- op- opposite uh, Temple Heat Supermarket, uh, Safeway Hospital Bus Stop, Shangotedo, Ajale. Okay, so yeah. it's, a, it's a small business. Support her. Uh, before we go, she'll give you her number. So if you want her to cut your hair, um, she can. you can give her a call and she'll direct you. Do you offer home service? I'm com- Yes. You're coming back from home oh, service. Yes. Oh, so you have your clipper and things. Yes. Okay. <laughs> when we come back from the break, she'll show us her clipper and things. Remember, yes, we're streaming live on Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. YouTube Nigeria Info FM. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli. This is our business segment. It's called Balogun and Broad. On Balogun and Broad, we talk to real business owners about their very real businesses. And we talk to them about how the issues in the news affects these businesses. Don't go away. Get more work done from anywhere with MacBook Pro. Get-
Get 24 months warranty when you shop at Apple Authorized Reseller, iConnect, and iDevices, Casper, Collier Angel Stores. Now you can buy authentic Apple devices easily. Chairman, I beg, I want to check my phone. But wait, oh, it's not a white you for copy zone. What did they happen? My brother, I don't have to have money like that again, no. Oh. I don't have to save all my money with Dabu Danny for my future washing machine. <laughs> you mean so you don't give the video money? Nah, man. No video video. Now, Dabu Danny Microfinance Bank. When you open a safe and win account with Dabu Danny, you fit to win open the prizes like a brand new Okada, 45 inch TV set, generator, deep freezer, and all that Boku Boku prizes. To win, make you save up to five. 500,000 naira for nine months for good package, 200,000 naira for seven months for silver, and 50,000 naira for five months for bronze package. You hear that? Now, the Okada way must have win from Davodani Microfinance Bank with that. Are they, where they go? Are they go open the Vodani safe and win account? Sharp, sharp. The promo for this year don't start. And it go finish for January 31st, 2023. Wait and see, apply, shall. For more story, visit www.davodanimfb.com. <laughs> love is unconditional nothing serves this love better than a bowl of indomie so show some love with indomie you don't wait for life you go to meet life morning after morning cup after cup with the stimulating aroma and rich creamy taste of Nescafe Original 3-in-1. Available at 70 Naira per sachet. And for every 8 sachets you buy this month, you get one sachet absolutely free. Start strong. Finish strong. It all starts with a Nescafe. T's and C's apply. Glenn! Glenn! Your matter don't cast. You the build house secretly, Abby. Huh. You don't spot. You don't smell. Why you can't they press cement, granite, and uh, sharp sand? Abby, you don't turn brick layer. No. She don't be got here. Yes, he finish house where he is. Now so so crack crack they be decking and the stacking so. I say he crack so there. He thought they even they make my room they make water. Now wow. That now why you they buy cement and sand them like say you want build house. You never hear of top shield. Top shield. Yes, yeah, so don't let cracks and leaks ruin your home. Use top shield. A quality waterproofing product for all kinds of concrete, roof, slab, or decking issues. Top Shield, another quality product from Pure Care Manufacturing, the makers of Top Run. Hello, sir. I forbid. Good morning. I forbid. Good day. I, my name is. I forbid. Good morning, ma. I. I forbid. Hello. How are you? I forbid. Hello, ma. My name is. I forbid. Oh, I forbid what? What? I forbid you to pay your rent yearly ever again. Starting from now, you can pay your rent in small monthly installments. Just send rent by WhatsApp chat to 090-5353-5333 or visit rent.creditclan.com. And in less than five minutes, you are free from the fear of finding all that money to pay your rent forever. Terms and conditions apply. Powered by Credit Clan. Voting is not a burden. It is a right and a responsibility. It is the route we have to make our voices heard. Voting unites our voices. It unifies our clamor. With your PVC, with my PVC, we can all tell the story of what should be, not what could have been. Don't be left out. Get your PVC today. Remember, your vote is your voice. This message is brought to you by Y Monitor for the Future Project. Listen, you're fighting. You get the body, you wonder. Wait till your cars are shining. Flash, flash, flash. Long hair or short doesn't matter. Wash it or dreadlocks, you may look better. Only for girls who know better. Flash, flash, flash. So you want to slay? Slay with fire. Yeah, yeah. Better 
And that's why they only trust Lush Hair Extensions to bring out the shine in them. Lush Hair, be beautiful. They don't disconnect your line. Sick of say you not link your national identification number to your MTN number. Make you not worry. If you don't already collect your NIN, you get some five easy steps. You go take reconnect them. One, dial star 785 hash. Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, visit my MTN NG app. Four, chat with Ziggy on top this WhatsApp number, plus 234-903-300-0001. Or five, visit www.mtn.ng. If you're not going to get national identification number, just walk out into any MTN store or NIMC center way near you. Or visit the MTN website to book appointment. Make you do any of these things, sharp sharp oh. Opportunity today now. Oh. <laughs> Make her ask yourself, now what thing would they do today? Get more out of Mac. Get an amazing battery life with the powerful M1 Pro or the even more powerful M1 Max for compiling code, sophisticated designs, and high volume data analysis. With an immersive 16 inch liquid retina XDR display and an array of ports, teens can get more work done from anywhere with MacBook Pro. Get 24 months warranty when you shop at Apple authorized reseller, iConnect, and iDevices, Casper, Colia Angel stores. Now you can buy authentic Apple devices easily. Plenty people they do business, but not be everybody mean business. The people when mean business, they know they ever say no to money, cash, card, or even transfer. This kind wants any business opportunity, then they grab up with the full chest. And then they chuck it only on top of this way make sense. Like if people, cash flow, and how every other thing take the complaint. Not be say them only know what thing that they do. They know their numbers and they mean business. With the number, you mean business. Enter our website will be www.number.com to take it for start. You are listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria, Nigeria Info. Let's talk. If you earn a living, you probably own a business, work for one, or want to start one. Business is central to your life. But do most business shows really speak to you? Today on the show, the billion dollar valuation of Balogu and Broad does. Let's talk about the stock market and Alaba market. Let's talk about share IPOs and diesel supply LPOs. Let's talk about Broad Street. The Nigerian Stock Exchange recorded an all time high of and Balogu Street. Uh, the maximum I will spend on fuel to so throw mm. was 4000 On Balogu and Broad, Wednesdays at 5. When you think about a barber, the image that pops in your head is probably a man because the overwhelming majority of barbers in Nigeria are men. It's so rare to find a woman barber in Nigeria, but they exist. And I have one of them in my studio right now. She's been here since 5 p.m. Her name is Precious Joseph. And she's been talking to us about why she decided to become a barber, uh, if she met any resistance when she wanted to start her apprenticeship, um, how uh, one goes about becoming a barber, how long long her apprenticeship took she said 12 months um and she also told us uh that she wasn't paid during the apprenticeship so she had to depend on tips from uh, some customers uh and uh, she, she essentially explained to us how it works and then she also said that she wasn't settled in fact that she had to buy uh, graduation drinks when she was done uh, with her apprenticeship and then she explained to us the skill of cutting hair uh that a lot of people don't realize um you know cutting hair is really difficult um she told us that um hair texture differs uh she told us that how you cut person a's hair is not how you cut person b's hair she talked to us about the different levels of the of the clipper the different steps the different combs she's explained so much today and i'm really grateful that i've met her and she's um, talking to us about her business um she also told us what it costs to start up um uh, a hair cutting uh, uh, um 
business uh, depending on what your financial capacity is depending on what kind of experience you're trying to give your clients she said it can cost anywhere between 50,000 naira and um, 50 million naira it costs her um, you know a little over 2.5 million to set up the space she has right now in Shongotido it's called uh, PJ Barbers am I right Baba shop. Uh, yeah. PJ Barber shop where exactly is it again uh, opposite Temple Hills, uh, opposite Temple Hills Supermarket, okay. Safeway Hospital, Bus Stop, Changote Do, Ajalegos. Yeah. This is her own business now. Yes. It's it's almost a year old. She's been doing this uh, since 2021, yes? Yes. Okay, and uh, she says they're going slow and steady. But I have to ask you, the current the fuel scarcity situation thankfully it has resolved. Uh, there's fuel in Lagos now at least. How did it affect you as a barber? During that period, yeah. I used to wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then, then I I did not have. Um, I was the only one in my shop then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. during that period. Mm -hmm. So I have to wake up around at least five a.m. Okay, to go to a uh, fuel station. Okay, to buy fuel, and okay. I will leave there like nine. Okay, but I have to queue for like three hours or mm. something to get fuel for your shop. Yeah. Mm. So once I have the opportunity, I have to buy twenty-five liter, like two. Mm. That is fifty liter. Okay. And keep so mm. I have like a. Before this one we finish. <laughs> 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 so that is how I've been, you know, struck. And you have to pay for the cake too. Yeah. Like you have to pay one thousand naira to fill uh twenty five liter yeah. of fuel and yeah. all that. It wasn't easy. Yeah. At all I can imagine. Because the area doesn't have light. At least if there is light, you know it'd be some I mean, of the costs, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you can save some of the costs. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned that you are spending ten thousand naira a week on fuel. Yes. Um, so how much fuel do you um you use per day? Do you have an idea? Do you know how many liters it costs you per day? Mm, no, not really. Not really. Okay. Um, how do potential customers react? Um, to the fact that you're a woman barber, are they shocked? Uh, does it make them uncomfortable? Do they not care? It's always difficult mm. convincing them that I can actually cut their hair. Mm. That is the you know hardest part of being a female barber. Okay, you know m m when people talk about female barber, they'll be like, oh, uh, because she's a lady, mm. many guys will want her to touch their hair. Mm. Many guys will want her to cut their hair and all that. But mm. in Ashra, you know. In reality, yeah, it, it, it's not as they say it. It's mm. not that easy. Mm. You know, during my time when I was working with, uh, for so people, mm -hmm. yeah, it takes time to actually take tell a man that, sir, let me cut your hair. Mm. I'm a barber. I'm good at it. Mm. I would cut it very well for you. Be like, no, don't spoil my hair. A lady had never cut my hair before. Mm. I, you know, some some that comes with their partner mm -hmm. lady mm -hmm. the woman will be like you mm. are you the only baba here <laughs> why must you be the one to cut my husband's hair or why must you be the only one to cut my partner say no 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 mm. let their let the male baba cut you know the way you feel mm. if, if a man is the one telling you no don't cut my hair mm. you know you feel like well okay. it's his choice but mm. coming from a lady mm. the reaction you know how women react mm. the reaction like ah i'll be like wow mm. When because th there is a place that I used to work that they pay us by commission. Okay. Like how many haircuts you buy per day is what you are going to collect at the end of the day. Okay. So why my mate has uh, collect yeah, barbing like four haircuts already? Mm -hmm. I will still be here trying to convince one person to actually give to me let a try. You no, know, it was hard. Oh. It was really really hard. Like oh. very very hard. But the 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 fun part of, of it is um. Once that particular person allows you to, allows me, I don't know about others, once that person allows me to cut uh, his hair, mm -hmm. he will be the one to refer his friend. No. Oh. And once he's coming the next time, you're just going straight to my seat like, no, I've already had it, but the girl is the one that caught me last time, let her cut me this time, oh. you know. So that gives me joy. That means the only problem I'm having is for them to actually trust me. Yeah. So once they have that trust, then yeah. I'm good to go. So And that trust is it's really just sexism. It's really just that Exa woman. Yes, yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. You like know? why 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 will a lady touch my hair? Why will a lady <laughs> cut my hair? Will it, it some is not some don't care mm -hmm. if you're a lady or not, mm -hmm. but some have doubts like uh, doubts like, okay, because she's a lady, 
how sure am I that she's going to cut it very cut it well? Very well. Exactly. Mm. And that's understandable because, like I said, majority yeah. of yeah. the you know hair barbers in, in Nigeria men, are, yeah. are men. Yeah. What percentage of your customers are repeat loyal customers, and what percentage are first timers or irregulars? I have higher of loyal customer than first timers. Okay. Yeah, because it's the loyal ones that brings the, f- the first timers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the ones that have been there once, uh-huh. twice, that uh-huh. have already experienced the touch. Mm-hmm. I call it classic touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that have already experienced the touch. We be the one to refer, you know, one or two people to to, to me and mm-hmm. all that. So the passerbys are uh, they're not much. Mm-hmm. So. It's, it's as if my 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 routine now is more of appointment. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hello, are you PJ? Uh, someone you know directed me to you. Uh-huh. Are you free tomorrow? Can I come to your shop? Can you come to my house? Uh-huh. So it's, it's as if this is how my this is your schedule business yeah, now. is going yeah. now. But I, but I mean that's okay, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of yeah. course it yeah. is. It makes it easier for me, mm-hmm. you know, knowing that okay, today I have like five. Appointments yes. to uh, to attend to. Yeah. Then may, probably after I am through with them, mm-hmm. I cannot go back to my barber shop. Or probably I have to in my barber shop. You mm-hmm. know, is it that they book mm-hmm. outside mm-hmm. or you know? Uh, or you go to the houses. Yeah, so I, first of all, I'm really sorry that I made you cancel like three of them today <sighs> for this radio appointment. This one is <laughs> important. They, 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 could, those people are the loyal customer that I'm talking about. Okay. They understand. I told them I have an interview with uh, Nigeria Info, and right. it's really important that I go. They're like, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't come tomorrow. No, it, oh. that, that is what we are praying for. <laughs> I was like, that is my guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is my guy. <laughs> I have to I have to bring you back to a question uh, to a point you made earlier on about apprenticeship. Okay. Um how is it structured? Was it purely practical where you go and cut hair or you just watch your oga cut hair or was there also theory? How how is it structured? Uh, uh, apprenticeship work based on how fast you want to learn. Hmm. If you are going to, to only stand and watch your boss mm-hmm. cut hair, mm-hmm. that is what you are going to do for two years, and you will not learn know anything. You will not learn anything. Hmm. If you are going to, to be practical hmm. within yourself, you have to decide hmm. how where do I want to learn. Okay. You know how fast do I want to learn? To. Okay. When I got to my my own side, mm-hmm. um, at first like first week, second week, I didn't take it like as serious as hmm. I took it when I paid for that apprenticeship. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So at the point I was like. Precious, what are you doing? Like you are here to do this because the man, the, my boss, mm. is not is the type that doesn't talk. Okay. So you have to be the one to be pushing him, mm. like boss. To teach you. Yeah. Okay. It's not like he can't teach you, but mm. you have to be the one to be pushing it. Mm-hmm. You know, there, there there are bosses and there are leaders mm-hmm. and there are teachers mm-hmm. and there is three in one. Mm-hmm. You no. Know? Mm-hmm. So him is more of um, a leader. That can be a teacher, but mm-hmm. you have to bring the teacher mm-hmm. party <laughs> to part <laughs> out. Yes, yeah. at least, because that is how it works for me. <laughs> so at a point, I was okay, fine. This is not going to work for me. I have to be practical about mm-hmm. it. So I, I used to do night plan. Okay. Data. Okay. Uh, I'll go to YouTube or by myself okay. and be watching how they do low cuts, mm-hmm. tapa fade, fade, step one. No, I learn a lot, even how to do colors because my boss didn't. To be sincere, my boss didn't teach me how to do colors. Okay. Like I learned it by myself. Okay. You know? Okay. I have to you know, do it. I'll cut hair mm-hmm. and I'll bleach the hair by myself. Mm. Like pe- so hair that they already cut. Yeah. I picked it, put it in a bowl, um, bleach by it, yourself. then put the color. Trying to know if the color will because it's more practical to For me. For you, yeah. Yeah. So when I, I realized that only washing my uh, boss will not do me good, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, fine. Let me start with questions. So mm-hmm. when you put the the, the step, I'll be like, what step is that? He mm-hmm. says, step one. Mm-hmm. Are you going to load the tapper? Mm-hmm. You no, know, the blade? He mm-hmm. said, no. Mm-hmm. That is when he started responding. Okay. You know, it's more like if you want to learn, learn. If you don't want to learn, like you it. Hey. So you took initiative. Yeah. So mm. m- once in a while, I will go to uh, to the street and beg one or two boys, like, can I cut your hair? I'm mm. learning probably in there. Mm. And I will take them to my the barber shop. Mm. Then my boss will be watching, and you know, I will and be doing it. And you're cutting the hair. Yes, that is how I started gradually. <laughs> you know, then when I got some, the boy, the little children mm. playing. Mm. By then, I already got my clipper. My brother bought my first clipper. Oh, yeah, he, got, he got me my first clipper. Okay, so I've already, you know, I have known how to handle the clipper, how mm-hmm. to fix what the hairstyles are called. Mm-hmm. So I would just call the children like. 
hey, come, let me cut your hair. He <laughs> said, no, you pay me or you want to use my hair to, you know, Lagos children. Wow. I want to use my hair to, to, <laughs> to I, learn I, what? I, I'll buy you bobo, hey, come. I'll buy you this, I'll buy you biscuit. Like, I want to cut your hair and I will still be able to buy you something. Like, I don't understand. Were there lots of customers um, who did not want an apprentice to cut their hair? Yes. Hmm. Many. <laughs> They will be like in a pigeon language. Now my hair won't use learn. No, never. No. Where's your boss? No. <laughs> so I express that one much. But why there is some like ah, I've been watching her for a while. She's been here for a while. I can give her a try. Okay. So okay. Just two ways. Okay. <laughs> the no, 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 and the yes. Let's give it a try. Which is what life is about. Yeah, really. of course. We've got a man from Ikoi who says, please help ask the legend Barbara in the studio, how can one be an apprentice in her shop? Because I want to do an apprenticeship in her shop. Okay. A man from Ikoi with that question there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Eh, uh, Emmanuel, uh, it's not hard. I'm not a hard knock. Um, I'm an easygoing person. So all you have to do is come to my barber shop. Mm. You know, you have to come in person. I will see you. I have to see who I want to employ. You know, let it not be like my big ogre <laughs> that, that I cannot say, go and get me this or, you know, because <laughs> you, are, you, you are here to learn. Yeah. So I have to see you in person first okay. to know if I can actually, you know, be your... Mm, boss okay. to teach you okay. mm, so that is it then I will tell you do, do you want to share your number if people want to reach out to you what's yeah. your number how can they call you okay I have my business line okay. 091 351 13354 I will take it again yes very Zero, slowly okay 091 351-13354. You want to take it again slower okay 091 <laughs> 351 Three five one, mm-hmm. one three three, mm-hmm. and five four. Okay. Uh, someone wants to patronize you. Uh, what's the location again? Uh, opposite Temple East Supermarket, Safeway Hospital Bus Stop, Shangote Do mm. Aja Lagos. Okay. Uh, I have a comment here. I wouldn't mind a woman cutting my hair, but I would like to ask her what is the most demanded haircut style that she usually gets from men. And which style does she like to cut? And also, please ask her the atmosphere in a male barbing salon compared to a female hairdressing salon. What is the difference in conversation? Are guys gossips as well, like ladies, or guys give fun gist? <laughs> <laughs> Fred, with that question oh, that there. that is really long. <laughs> I swear. Okay, so let's start with the first question. Okay. First question is, what's the most demanded haircut style that you get from men? Okay, um, most guys, when they come in, they'll be like, like, I want two step. Okay. I want three step. Okay. You know what they call two step, three step. Mm. We call it mid fade, okay. high fade, low fade. Okay. So when they say I want two step, uh-huh. I will say it's mid fade. Okay. Because that is the actual word. Okay. And when they say I want uh, three step, mm-hmm. we call it uh, yeah, low fade. Okay. Then when they say one step, mm-hmm. that is the high fade. Okay. So most guys they be like I want two step, mm-hmm. I want three step, mm-hmm. I want. Uh, uh, more like punk, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and the f- punk they are talking about is the high fade. Okay. Because I I, I don't think men still barb uh, punk these days. Like the proper proper you punk, like yeah. The punk that when we know that up, you yeah. skin everywhere <laughs> and just leave the hair you know, front, so, yeah. So I don't know why they are still calling it punk. Like I want to buy punk where I barb punk. So mm-hmm. we say high punk. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, wow, <laughs> all right, we are there. Do people still barb mohawk? Yep. Okay. Uh, I received that a lot too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I Sometimes I will be the one to suggest okay. if I see that your, your the shape of your head, your uh, hairline, okay, is it will be more suitable for mohawk uh, mm-hmm. uh, style. Mm-hmm. I will suggest it for you. Okay. And if I relax that. It, it'll be more of um tapa fade. Mm-hmm. I, I do I, I do recommend haircuts okay. for people. Okay. That you, some people will just come sit down like, what do you want to do? Say, mm. I don't know. I'm confused. What <laughs> do you think is best? So when I look at your hair texture, look at your you know hairline mm-hmm. and uh, the shape of your head, of course. <laughs> so I will know what to suggest for you. Do you think I would look good in a in a in a haircut? What haircut could I rock? So I have locks now, but you can't see my hair texture because you're far away. Maybe you should come and take a look at my hair hair texture. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm seeing this from here. So 
for ladies, for ladies, mm-hmm. rough curls will actually look good on you because you are already rocking a thread. Which one is rough curls? It's just um, you have to top the side mm-hmm. low, mm-hmm. so the up will be higher than the side. Okay. Then you rough it. Okay. Yeah, with um, it m- it will be like um, rough okay. hair. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hair, so that it will be it will look nice. It's nice for on you. me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Okay. But I'm not sure you are doing it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> 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 okay, so the next question is um, the atmosphere in a male barbing salon compared to a female um, um, head it's, it's one of the reasons I don't want to be a stylist. I'm more, I, I, one of the reasons I said I want to be a barber. Okay. Because um, I'm uh, terrible at gossip. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like someone sitting beside me and talking about somebody else. Mm. If it's not politics mm. <laughs> or business, mm. don't talk to me about So if you, are talk, if you are talking about one politician uh, to me, I, I'm uh, ready to listen to you yeah. because it's something interesting. Uh-huh. Not to tell me about one shiamaka that did one hangout. No, I'm not good at it. Like, <laughs> I'm very, very not good at it. So, so you find that guys don't gossip the way ladies Guys do? talk real talk. Okay. Guys co- talk things that you can learn from. Okay. I think that is one thing that makes us different kind of okay. it's not every lady but mm-hmm. most we we are more of uh, things that doesn't matter we mm. talk we, like we have fun talking about it why met is it that they are talking about po- uh, football mm-hmm. or they are talking about politics mm-hmm. or they are talking about friends that you know things that when you listen to it even if you know because me i'm i'm I don't, i'm not the kind of baba that you know in a uh, interrupt people mm-hmm. when they are discussing or mm-hmm. as I'm the one that started the conversation, the conversation with them yeah, right, right exactly okay we've got uh, Saken who says a very beautiful interview very refreshing I wish the lovely lady success Amen. in her endeavors um, well I have to ask you my final questions oh my god I can't believe the time is up <laughs> wow. ah, we have just one minute oh. no oh. okay <laughs> but how do you currently market your business we have just one minute so okay very quickly. i i have um instagram account okay and uh twitter and my facebook page okay i think i post my work my all my records are there mm-hmm. so you can reach me on to uh, instagram at pj barbershop okay. pj underscore barbershop dot ng okay the same with my twitter okay. then my my facebook page is uh pj barbershop okay P- 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 dot J. Baba shop. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that number again, because someone yeah. is asking about it. They missed the number when you were giving it out. Oh, okay. 091-351-13354. Precious. You have been such an amazing guest. Thank you so much for joining Thank me on Hard so Facts today. Much. She will be back on The Role Model with uh, a Mauna Loya Wale, so don't miss it. All but right. don't go away. From 6.15, we'll keep talking right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Get more out of Mac. Get an amazing battery life with the powerful M1 Pro or the even more powerful. You could be four debates away from one million naira. Good day, honorable judges, our ever attentive audience. That's the majority of co debater. We've crowned three I beg to differ debate champions. My name is Sanvita Kaushik. I'm Rizu Kocho. My name is Dawa Desa. And if you want to be the fourth, in fact, it even gives you a new global perspective. The West, 1998, begins during the 2015 election. Now. The auditions for the next I Beg to Differ debate tournament are on. It's open to all secondary school students in Lagos, aged between 12 and 16. Just go to www.nigeriainfo.fm and click on I Beg to Differ and follow the instructions. Auditions close 3 p.m. July 12, 2022. And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running mate to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. M- Mr. Adeshino, is the president responsible to the people what should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit you fire those those that need to be fired get fired it's looking like a brand new chelsea attacking with so much fluidity and what can you say about that martin i know you follow chelsea quite closely i live close to the chelsea training ground that's what you mean by that i'm not <laughs> 
99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Thank <laughs> you.